Recently, we've been doing a lot of tests with ChatGPT to see if it's a tool that we can use to help write local content. I wanna share an example that I came across recently for a real estate agent that we work with. So I was trying to create content for a page all around homes in Braintree, Massachusetts. And I started by asking ChatGPT to list uh, neighborhoods, a list of neighborhoods in this town called Braintree, Massachusetts. It returned a list of 13 neighborhoods. Now, the first issue is that Braintree only has three neighborhoods. When I asked Dan Gorfinkel, who's the realtor, about this, he said that he confirmed with a lifelong Braintree resident and found the following neighborhoods, Braintree Highlands, East Braintree, and South Braintree. He said that the other neighborhoods on this list that I got are not correct. So what on earth are the other 10 things that ChatGPT listed? Well, Five Corners and South Braintree Square, according to Google, appear to be shopping centers that aren't neighborhoods and that someone would not live in. Washington Street, which was also listed as a neighborhood, is literally a street. Yet when I asked ChatGBT to come up with an article about the top neighborhoods to live in in Braintree, it actually listed one of these and said that people would want to buy homes there. Next, I asked ChatGBT to have a list of things to do in Braintree Highlands, which was one of the supposed neighborhoods that we had from our list. It listed a golf course that was actually 28 miles away. When I checked with the realtor, he said that locals would not want to travel that far um, and that residents of Braintree would not go to this particular golf course, they would go to the one that's actually in Braintree, which ChatGBT did not list. Next, I asked it to list schools in South Braintree. The first school that it listed was South Braintree Elementary School. And the fun fact is that this school does not exist. You can actually confirm all the lists of schools on braintreeschools.org, and in the navigation menu, it lists all the different schools there are. This fictional school is not there. I also confirmed that with the realtor. Finally, I asked her for details around this local park that was in Braintree called Sunset Lake Park. ChatGPT told me that this park offers a basketball court, a baseball field, and a soccer field, which sounded like a lot of fun. But I got a little skeptical when I noticed that none of this information is actually listed on the park's website or on Street View. So I asked the realtor about it, and he said that if you wanted to get those things, you would have to go to a nearby school uh, and fun fact, the school that has them is actually across the other side of the lake. So I tried to figure out where in the world ChatGPT was getting all this information from, and I asked it to cite its sources, but it couldn't do that. So in conclusion, I think given how many facts that it got wrong, I would strongly suggest thinking twice before using this to write local content for yourself or for your clients. If you have questions about this, please leave them in the comments and make sure to subscribe and like this video to get more updates from us.